Well, summer's kind of over now. We're kind of in autumn mode, which is great. Fine by me. As I've said in the past, with like a lot of photographers, it's not the best taking photographs in the summer. It's too bright, lots of people around. Sunsets and sunrises are at very unsociable times of the day. But this is more like what I like to do. Reasonable time, come down, we've got a nice sun coming behind this lighthouse, which I've photographed in the past. It's quite a popular one to photograph down here. But really you want some nice uh, sunsets going on behind it, lighting up kind of the skyline of Edinburgh. Um, but even if you're down here and the, the sun isn't really doing what it should do in the evening time, it actually makes quite a nice black and white photo because you've got the leading lines of the, the railings and the actual lighthouse itself is, is white. So that coupled with a kind of dark thunderous sky in the backdrop, that works well as well. But I've done that one already, I took a photo quite a number of years ago uh, and I've always liked to do something with, with colour with a sunset. So fingers crossed it's looking pretty promising uh, at the moment. So let's just hope the clouds stay as they are and the sun dips we get this lovely glow behind the, the lighthouse. There's uh, quite a, a need for bracketing here, and I've bracketed really, really wide. Um, that's in the stops. Just two stops between each bracket I've taken. Just because it's really not a shot that you can put a, a grad filter on, because you've got this lighthouse that'll go right through where the graduation filter is. So it'll be darkened at the top. So the best, the only real option to do anything there is just to bracket, it's really extreme, so I'm actually taking quite a few different brackets, so, um, you know, just to control the, the brightness in the sky because everything else is really, really dark in the foreground. Um, so hopefully that will work out well. We're still waiting on the sun to really come down lower than the clouds so it gets quite nice, but uh, so far so good, it's pretty nice. So I've opted for some long exposures now, um, just to really kind of take some of the, the ripples away from the water. The only problem there is you're just getting such a kind of burnout from the sky because of the way the clouds are formed. There's a big patch right above it. Um, yeah, there's a big patch right above where the lighthouse is, which is beautiful blue sky, and then you've got the clouds in between it, then you've got the sun below it. So. It's, it, it's kind of jarring the image a wee bit too much with the clouds right in the middle. If the clouds are right above it, I might be able to crop down a little bit just to take that kind of nice clear sky section away. Uh, but right now that is really kind of burning through. Um, the clouds themselves are really nice, they just don't continue over that kind of patch. And I think it's quite nice. I've taken some of the pole, I, I, I was using the polarizer to take away some of the reflection of the water but to balance up the image I've reduced the, the, the polarization so you're getting some kind of ref reflection from the sky and from the kind of the, the, the warm colors in the sky off the, s the sea, the water itself just to kind of balance it up a wee bit sometimes if you polarize too much you just get this you know dark water and then you get this bright sky and it's just a bit it doesn't really kind of sync up too well so I'm reducing some of the polarization and hopefully bring that color from the sky that's it's coming through on the, 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 the water as well. Just to balance it up, that's all it really is. Hopefully you can see behind me that the sky is really starting to pop now. It's obviously mega bright on this, but it's just the nice, nicest colors coming through. And again, it's reflecting off the water straight at us, never shooting to the, the sun type of thing. But hang it, I'm just gonna go for it. Because actually, the silhouetted kind of look of the lighthouse is actually working out just beautifully and everything is just glowing with this warm sun it's just fantastic love this time of year it's just the best another unforeseen benefit of the sun coming through like this it actually looks because I've really darkened this image down to compensate for that sun it actually looks like the lighthouse is lit up I don't know if you can see behind me there's actually sun is shining through the glass dome on top of the lighthouse which is 
Oh, you know, that's a freebie, isn't it? Just gone all out brackets and now removed the polarizer, removed the Lee little stopper, and I'm just, yeah, no, no glass in front of the glass at all. Uh, just again, just to get some quick shots going off, just to get some of that starburst with the sun. Um, clouds are looking a lot more kind of natural now. Uh, those gaps that I was talking about earlier on, they've kind of gone and it's filled the sky up. But right below, um, you've got this piercing sun which is there's not a bit of cloud in front of it as well so just again just trying different things I'm happy with the, comp the composition I'm not moving at all I'm currently just covering the lens because the rain's back on hey ho I'm just waiting for that sun to dip a wee bit more and just taking various shots whilst it descends liking it it's nice